welcome to Flory Models. I'm Philip Flory. Welcome to the daily vlog. We're going to be doing these every day, about 10, 15 minutes tops. Something else like that to keep you all informed to what we've been going up to. It's April the 20th on a gorgeous Monday and I've started work on the Harrier. Yes, this is the Kinetics Wonder. Um, basically just started it today, working our way through it and all the rest of it. I have to say, not massively impressed. Uh, the way that the cockpit fits, the air intake system goes in and everything else like that isn't particularly nice. Uh, there's no right or wrong with it. Um, I just can't work out really if it's just poor fitting uh, issues and things like that, or it's just generally something I've made a mistake with. I can't seem to find each of them. I tended to have a gap down the front here going in and uh you know i don't know not chuffed with the kit it's, it's reminding me a lot of that jaguar we've just completed but it's getting there we're all away now uh, and everything else like that the detail on the kit is very nice uh there's different textures on some of the panels which is quite a nice thing and with this one it's all going to be about the weathering i'm going to do something very old school weathering with this one using a mixture of obviously my washes uh, for doing the panel lining and stuff like that and then I'm going to go along and do all the weathering of the fading down and griming and everything else instead of doing post shading um, and going out and changing tonal changes with the airbrush things like that I'm going to do it with oils um, which is something a little bit like the Wolves 101 we did, but this is going to be a lot more specific. So we're going to be masking off panels, changing panels. We're going to try and recreate some of that sort of diffused dirt grime streaks that comes back off of um, rivets when they're loose on panels, things like that. We're going to try and recreate that and give this Harrier, quite frankly, a filthy look. I want it to have that traditional Harrier look. Um, you know, many years ago, I used to live literally just up the road from where they were based um, and used to stand under them as they were coming into landing absolutely fantastic and used to get the ones coming back off the ship and they were absolutely hammered in dirt grime grease beautiful weathering on them so i'm going to recreate that yes i could have gone along with some of the sort of you know the markings from the box which were you know obviously the stand down markings with this great one they also did the blue one the traditional old blue one and things like that but i want it to be a traditional line bird really dirty uh, i'm gonna stick some amrams on it i'm thinking perhaps some sidewinders definitely can have the aiden gun pods purely because i think harry looks doesn't look right without it uh, so we're going to put those on and work our way through going together isn't too bad i think we're going to have this pretty much down i'm doing some test fitting as we sit here now and uh, just trying to see how this spine system is going to fit on here i you know i think it's going to need a little bit of clean up some various things just to get this round it's just like got some big gaps down here but generally everything's just a little bit flashy and it's going to take some I don't know, tidying up, jostling around and playing with to get it in there. But generally, I have to say, it's far better than the FX one. And I mentioned that one in there. Uh, a couple of deliveries we've had in today. Um, a lot of you, uh, we've got the new cheapskate area uh, up on the actual forum. And um, one of the guys put up there about tweezers. I ordered them as well. These are the lockable ones. So I have got a very large collection. To be honest, I'm using them a lot today with everything going on. Yes, the quality isn't brilliant, but they are perfect. And for £1.39, was it £1.39? £1.59 delivered, and it kept, was sent second class post, but it arrived here this morning. I only ordered them on Friday afternoon, so that isn't too bad going at all. Um, and that was from a company called direct to You, spelled y -O, -O. Um The link for it and all the rest of it, it's on um, eBay was absolutely fine but great service and you know for what they are they're perfect and locking tweezers we spoke about in previous shows are an absolute must the other one that showed up was these ones okay now we were talking about pointy tweezers i wanted to have a look at these because these were dirt cheap as well i can't remember exactly how much they were now but we we're talking about fine pointy ones they're not quite the same as mine where's my ones they're a little bit shorter in length and they haven't got quite the point mine's got on them uh, if I'm honest, but generally they're absolutely fine. But the trouble is with them all, they don't stick to my magnetic strip still. So what I tend to do is I bung them in a cup. You can probably see it down here. And I put them down in there like that. And that's how I stick them. Although I've got a lot more now, but I might keep some of these for best and just use the ones I'm using. I just pop them down on there, holding onto the mug, literally just like that. 
So those are in today. Um, I don't think really we need to review those. I've got a huge order from uh, Hannant's coming in tomorrow with lots of vehicles, lots of bikes, all your orders that have got come in from last week, they're coming out. I've got a couple of bits in there for me uh, and I've got some of the new Airfix stuff coming in tomorrow. So they're gonna be for reviews for Thursday as we go up. So that's about it for today. As I said, it's a short little vlog showing you what I'm up to now. As I get interesting things in day to day, I'm gonna be posting up to you. Okay, so you can then go off now and watch the Harrier. Part one is up on the site. It's gonna do the cockpit. We're talking about obviously using color photo etch going down into there. It's also gonna talk about the fan blade system. Uh, part two will then get you to technically this part here. I've just finished editing part two now. So that will be up with you next week as we make our way through. I've also been working on, where is it? It's over here. Where is the damn thing? It's around somewhere, the actual Bradley and I've got all these wheels which I'm going to go out to paint tomorrow so tomorrow I'm actually going to be working on the Bradley have a break from this one because uh, then hopefully by the end of today I can actually get the top on and that can be left to one side because I'm going to crack on with the Bradley going to get all the wheels painted going to get the tracks done tomorrow and hopefully going to get the overall sort of you know that nice sand color right the way over it so then we can then seal that all in and then give it a break whilst I crack back on with this one and that way we can actually get on then and get some weathering onto it and really push forward for that build so that's it as I say little short shows for you all this week and uh, we'll see how they go with these remember you catch me in the forum you catch us on uh, YouTube and on Facebook as well so until tomorrow everybody happy modeling take care